The Charleston County School District and U.S. Department of Education held a series of roundtable discussions with African American educators, local families, and students. News News Walker Simmons joins us in the studio with more information. And Walker, you were there as a series of different events happened today, all centered around the future of African American students. Well, Karen, leaders from CCSD and the U.S. Department of Education held a variety of events to engage students and get them excited for their future, all while helping inform families, community members, and African American educators. Now, all this within the walls of Burke High School. Inside Burke High School Wednesday evening, the sounds of discussion echoed through the halls. Two different roundtable discussions were being held, all with one ultimate goal in mind, to save our children. And, and our children is our children, all our children, should be working on developing positive avenues for them to be able to reach their highest potential. That's why CCSD is partnering up with the U.S. Department of Education and their Power Up series. It's a three-day conference focused on empowering African-American students, educators, and the community in Charleston. And it started with a series of events at Burke High School, all for the students, including a student pep rally, as well as a college and career fair, all to get students excited about their future. It's what Acting Superintendent Anita Huggins says should be the focus of the district. So often here in Charleston, the adult issues take the headlines, and I'm hopeful that we as adults and communities can come together and shift the focus from the adults to the children. It's only then that we can make the future a better place for our community and for our children. And once students went home for the day, a new crowd filled the halls. Families, community members, and black educators had their own separate discussions centered around the importance of educating and preparing young African-American students for their futures. Executive Director for the White House Initiative for Black Americans, Alexis Holmes, says while it's important for students to be heard, the same goes for those guiding them. Um, our families have a lot of concerns uh, and again we want to make sure that they also have access to information on resources that may be available to them and it's the same with our educators as well. While Shepard says she left today with questions unanswered, she's grateful that there are still more events and discussions in the coming days. This is just the beginning so I'll be there at the general sessions tomorrow. I'll be at Avery on the 2nd. And following today's event, there are two more power up events set for the next two days. Now the next is set for tomorrow at the College of Charleston at 9 a.m. Live in studio, Walker Simmons, count on two.